Hey, my name is Shane Fickleson. In this video, let's talk about are interest rates going to drop in 2024? When are they going to drop? How far are they going to drop? And what's the forecast looking like a little bit further out than from that? Now, there's a company called Capital Economics. They are forecasters and they have come out with some data today, which will really give you an indication and an idea of where things may end up and what we should be looking at in order to make decisions on that hit us on what interest rates we should fix and stuff like that. So we're going to jump into that right now. But before we do, as always, if you haven't done already, do subscribe over there and hit the bell notification. Let's hit 11,000 subscribers this week. And if you haven't done on all the other videos, you need to do it on this video. Smash the like button, tickle the like button, do something to that like button. Go and do that right now. That really helps us with the YouTube algorithm. Every time you do that, the gods at YouTube push us out to more people. So please do that now. So interest rates, what's the problem? Well, the problem is inflation. It's still really high in this country. We had inflation at over 11% and now it's sticking at 6.7% not good. We were expecting it to come down this month. It didn't. It wasn't expected to drop much, but anything would have been good. It didn't happen. That's the problem that we've got here. So what happens in that situation is the Bank of England is now having to consider, do they put interest rates up next week or do they pause again? Now, the consensus is that they probably will pause again. And if they do put interest rates up, that's going to be a real shock for a lot of people. So this year in 2023, it's very unlikely that the Bank of England base rate will drop at all. With regards to mortgage rates in 2023, there is some com competition now. Banks are trying to hit their final quarter targets. They're trying to lend more money. And you're seeing different banks vying for that top spot. We had TSB that did some great deals a couple of weeks ago. We've now got Santander that's beating that deal. So that could go tit for tat and that could bring down the mortgage interest rate for 2023. Now, 2024, what's going to happen with the base rate? Well, the chances are that it will stick fairly high for at least the first half of 2024. That's all going to be down to how inflation sits. Now, the good news is that next month's inflation is expected to drop quite a big chunk. And that's down to the fact that the energy cap is coming off by Ofgem, and that will give a lot of uh, downward momentum to that inflation data. So that's gonna be a positive thing. But we're probably still gonna end up with a 5% interest rate, uh, inflation rate at the end of 23. So next year, we're gonna go in with that high inflation number yet again, and the Bank of England is going to really want to make sure that that is down before they start to drop interest rates. Now, capital economics, what they're saying is they feel that by 2025, interest rates at the Bank of England will be around 3%. And that's good news. Now, that's a long way off. But if we hit 3%, that is really going to kickstart the housing economy again, and it will start getting people back into the market because there's so many people sitting on the sidelines that want to buy, that can afford to buy, but they just want to see, is the market going to bottom out at any time? And when are the interest rates going to become more reasonable? So that's interesting that they feel at 2025 that we'll hit that level. So how do we get to this 3% number by 2025? Well, the back end of next year, is when most people start feeling that interest rates will start to come down. The Bank of England base rate we're talking about here. And so what we might see by the end of 2024 is that we're in the 4% range, maybe like four and a quarter percent could be the best case scenario. I've seen a few people say this by the end of 2024, but it won't be until the back end of 2024. So if you've got a new deal going through now, that's gonna be a long time to wait on a higher rate. So you might fix for a year or two. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean it passes on to those mortgage rates either, uh, because this is based off, some, the mortgage rate's based off something called a swap rate. It's impacted by this, but it's not solely based off of this. But I think it's highly likely that it would be. I think that the mortgage lenders, 
they want to lend more money. Foxlands this week came out and said their sales are down 25%. Initially, a few months ago, it was 15%. Now it's 25%. That's a huge drop in sales. That's going to hit their bottom line. That means they're going to make redundancies for sure in the sales department. Lettings, they're probably doing all right. But sales departments are going to start getting hammered by this lost momentum and lost sales. So banks will want to pass on these drops in interest rates to you. So you start borrowing and buying and refinancing with them. So I think that you will next year, again, start seeing mortgage interest rates go down. The lending that you get, not the Bank of England rate, I think that you'll start to see in the first quarter and by the summer, you'll start seeing rates that are around 4%. We've got some rates now that are at 46 I think that you will get lending at around 4% by the summer next year. Now, to get those rates, I think you'll have to have a good deposit around 40%, 25% would probably be the minimum on that for sure. And that also, by then, house prices will have dropped a little bit more. Maybe they've gone down by 5% at that time. So that's going to really start pushing the market in the in the right direction. If people's pay rises still go through as they have been, if the market house prices drop 5%, if the interest rates come down, the affordability is being improved on various different angles at that stage. Uh, but it's still a long way off. It's going to be a dark summer. It's going to be a difficult summer for a lot of people. And so that's what you've got to look at doing, speaking to your broker. What deal can you get? Should you fix for two years or five years? It depends on your tolerance for risk. Now, if you're an investor, this is a good opportunity. And so older deals are tougher than newer deals at the moment. So some of my older deals, the refinancing isn't quite as good as it could be. I'm still making a profit, but definitely going to be making less money than I was before. But new deals, because you can buy below market value right now, you can get a deal fixed in that's really, really good. Uh, you can get a rate that you know, you know it's not going to be significantly higher going forward. So the numbers all stack up and those deals can be very, very good in this market. And I feel in this market at the moment, there's around 5 to 10% of people that are realistic about the prices. And the rest of the market, they're still holding out, hoping that the market doesn't crash. Some people just need to sell. And so if you go to agents, you go to auctions, you look at off-market deals, we talk about all that stuff on this channel, then you can find some very, very competitive deals at the moment. And those are the deals that, looking back in hindsight, that you'll be like, I wish I got more of those. And, and, and that's what we always do. In 2008, I didn't buy enough properties. I wish I did. Uh, it's a big regret. And this time, I'm not going to make that mistake. I'm going to be looking for good deals that stack up and putting them on some fairly longish rates that I just know that will give me that momentum with the market goes up or down. And there's still cash flow. That's the key thing here. Uh, and so mortgage rates, the answer to the question is they will start dropping, I think, next year. Uh, and that will be what you want to look out for. Let me know your thoughts. When do you think they're going to drop? Uh, do comment below. Do smash the like button. Subscribe. Why don't you go and check out this video right here.